hello guys welcome to my channel on this video i am going to be talking about facebook professional dashboard its uses interpretation and how to use it to measure the performance of your page and profile if you're new to my channel i am justice chibike here i teach facebook monetization and growth if you have not subscribed to my channel please do Facebook professional dashboard is a tool that was introduced by Facebook to help creators measure the performance of their page and their profile. A good understanding of the professional dashboard will help you ascertain when your page is in a good or bad state. If you can be able to understand all the details on your professional dashboard, then it will become easier for you to know your audience, to know when things are not right on your page, and it will help you to control the growth of your page, as well as help you determine how to solve some problems on your page. On this video, I'm going to go deep into your professional dashboard, and after this video, you are going to know how to use your professional dashboard to troubleshoot your page or your profile because most of us use our phone to access facebook i am going to switch this tutorial from my laptop to my phone so that i can be able to give us more details about the professional dashboard when you come to your dashboard you are going to see the rich tab the content published the interactions and uh, the net followers previously we had the three second video views on this dashboard so these are the tabs that you're going to see on your professional dashboard and when you click on see more insights like uh, the performance if you click on performance here you are going to see more insights here you see the the growth graph of your page how your page has performed in the last 28 days and when we come back if you come down you're going to see the people that are following you both the gender and uh, the age and if you click more you will see the top countries that are following you and uh, the top cities as well so uh this is some insights that you are going to see on your professional dashboard so how do you interpret your dashboard on facebook now uh, if you look at the rich tab that you can see over here the rich tab just shows you how many people have seen your post in the last 28 days your rich tab shows you how many people that saw your post in the last 28 days as compared to how many people that saw your post in the previous 28 days so let's assume that in the last 28 days you were able to reach 50,000 people while in the previous 28 days you were able to reach 100,000 people that automatically means that your reach tab will turn to red because you reached more people in the previous 28 days more than in the last 28 days. So when this happens, your professional dashboard, the reach tab is going to turn to red. And this applies on all the other tabs. On the content published if you published more content in the last 28 days as compared to how many contents you published in the previous 28 days your content published tab will be read interaction means the number of comments reactions and shares combined together that you got on your post in the last 28 days as compared to the reactions the comments and the shares combined that you got in the previous 28 days so if you got more reactions more comments more shares in the last 28 days your dashboard will be green but if you didn't it will be red and this happens to the net followers 
this is only calculating how many new followers that you got in the last 28 days as compared to the ones you got in the previous 28 days so that is what these tabs are explaining to you so when you come to this tab and uh, you look at them you can easily interpret what is happening previously we had the three second views on this tab which facebook has removed on some accounts why is still available on some accounts the three second video views analyzes the views you got on your videos in the last 28 days as compared to the previous 28 days and they calculate these uh, views in three seconds so if you got more three seconds views on your videos in the last 28 days then your dashboard there will be green if you didn't it will be red so that is how you uh you interpret your dashboard so uh to use this dashboard to measure the performance of your page when you come over to the dashboard uh, just click on more insight if you click on more insight this tab is gonna open when this tab open you can see post how your post performed you can scroll through your post you can see the ones that are getting you more rich the kind of posts that are getting you more rich the kind of posts that your audience interacts with more and uh, the ones they comment on more and uh, the kind of articles that your audience like also for more analysis you can come down to when you scroll down you are going to see the gender and the age bracket of people that are following you and if you click on this see all button you're going to see the top countries and uh, the top cities that are following you this will help you create content that will serve this audience better and if you want to target new audience it will also prompt you to create another form of content that will also attract those regions and uh, the countries that uh, you have in mind now uh, how do you use this professional dashboard to to see if something is wrong with your page now when you come to your professional dashboard click on this reach click on reach now you're going to see a graph this graph as you can see here these are a sign of soda graph so what this graph does is that it shows you where the day your post got more engagement the time you got more engagement and the time it didn't this tab shows you when there's traffic on your page the day the time that people interact on your page more so let's assume that uh, your page suddenly turned red or you notice that your engagements are not the way it used to be how you're going to do this is come over to this graph come to your reach click on your reach right there and uh, you're going to see the performance of your page in the last 28 days so you are going to look on this graph as you can see right here if you look at uh, september 7th before september 7 you see that there was traffic on my page and then after september 7th the traffic started dropping so uh if you notice something like this you can go over on your page and uh, look at what you posted within that period and uh, you see if is a post that went viral that made you have this kind of traffic in most cases let's say that uh, your traffic is always stable at the peak of this uh, graph here on uh, September 7th okay and then suddenly you started noticing that your engagement starts dropping so this may be because you posted something that went against Facebook guidelines okay so uh, how you're going to troubleshoot this is when you come over to this dashboard look at this graph very well when you look at it you see the period that uh, your engagement started dropping you're going to go over to your page and look at the the post you made within that period and if any of them you deem any of them fit of maybe violating laws because i already explained 
the things that may violate Facebook policies in this video that is displaying on your screen. So if you don't know the type of contents that may actually lead to violation on Facebook, you can watch that video for more insights. So when you notice this, you can go over to that post and uh, you delete it. Another way also to use this uh, professional dashboard to troubleshoot your page is that when you've gotten the period when your page started underperforming, come back to your page quality. So come to your page quality right here and you are going to look at your page as you can see my page is okay it is green so this place will tell you if if actually there is a content that uh, violated on facebook they are going to show you here if it's a copyright content or the content that goes against their content policy they are going to display it here and if you click on it if you see the option to delete it you are going to delete it right away and uh, that issue will be solved so how do you keep your professional dashboard green i'm going to give us a quick hack on how to keep your professional dashboard green all the time now let's assume that uh, you have a busy schedule and uh, you are also working on your page what you're going to do is that you're going to draw out a map on how to operate on your page if you can be able to come up with a uh, at least five posts in a week you are going to draw a map and uh, you are going to stick to it this will help stabilize your your page it will help keep your page stable but when you post today and you're not posting tomorrow you're not posting next tomorrow or you post 10 stops today and tomorrow you're not posting anything the next one you're not posting anything your dashboard will always be fluctuating and when this happens you see that sometimes this comes to red and uh, it comes to green so when you are stable on your page it will help stabilize your page so this is a quick hack on how to use your professional dashboard to measure the performance of your page if you have more questions or there is an area on this video that i didn't cover don't forget to drop it in the comment section so i come your way next time i remain justice chibike please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching